So do you want to know the difference between distinct count, distinct and value? This is the video for you. Stay tuned. I'll be back in a second. So welcome back. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and in today's video we are going to introduce a new function called distinct. We are going to compare it with distinct count and we are going to compare distinct and values too. Okay. So for those of you that are new to DAX, I'm sure, pretty sure that you haven't used this thing. And you will understand why when you watch the video. So I'll see you back at the end. So here we are in Power BI. Let's dig into this. What I have here is the Northwind dataset. Here's a link on how to use this uh, data source. If you want, you will be able to download the file. So don't worry about that. So here we have, um, let's see, let's see. Um, we have a set of uh, tables. We have customers, a calendar, orders, order details, products, and categories, okay? And um, what we have here, we have created a table that has uh, customers and total sales. And what we want to know is calculate the number of distinct products bought by each company. So to do that, we go to product, new measure, unique products. And you're going to say, okay, distinct count. That's, I guess, what you intuitive would use, right? Distinct count, product, name, you put it in there and you see that this company, Alfred's something, has purchased 11 products. Here are the products, in case you want to see them. We have Antonio Moreno has purchased 15, and those are the 15 products. Excellent. Okay, now, so what is distinct use? Let's do the same thing with distinct. We got a new measure, unique products, distinct. So let's go to see what Microsoft says about distinct. This is distinct count, distinct. It says returns a one column table for the distinct values of the column. And there's distinct column and this distinct table, which returns instead of retaining a column, returns a table. And it says that you need to wrap it around something. It can be used to return the values into a cell of a column. You need to nest the distinct function with something else. And one of the things they do is, okay, if you want to know the distinct count of something, you can do count rows distinct. So let's try that. We go here, we go count rows distinct, and then our product name, okay? And what do you think this is going to return? Will it return the same as distinct count? Pause, think about it, and come back. So let's put it in. Are you ready? It gives us the same numbers. So how is that possible? Well, distinct count, and I checked to see if they say that. You know, I check on distinct count on the documentation, and I said, maybe they say, but I think the distinct count is a syntax sugar for count rows distinct. And this came out, I don't know exactly when, but a few years ago. So if you've been using, as I said, DAX from the beginning, then you've used distinct. Otherwise, if you're new to DAX, you probably are using only distinct count. And distinct is of no use to you. So if you watch, uh, old blog post, you will probably will see this syntax, count rows distinct instead of distinct count, okay? Um, I haven't seen it for a while, actually. So, okay, Ruth, are you going to do a video about that? Let's continue. So, there is another way to do distinct values, and it is, let's go here, do, 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 new measure, unique product values. So we've talked about values before, right? You have a video about it. I will link down below if you want to check it. So 
values. Let's do it. We do count rows. We put values in there and then product name. What do you think this is going to return? Pause and come back. Dun 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 dun. Exactly the same thing. We've been doing the same thing in three different ways using three different functions. How is this possible? Why? Well, you know the difference between distinct and distinct count now because the distinct count is syntax sugar for count rows value distinct. Fine. But you will see count row values often. So what is the difference between count row values and count rows distinct or distinct count? If we go back here, this is a blog post by Marco Russo. I don't know when it was made, but a long time ago. You see the update it was 2011, somewhere in 2011. And uh, here they are actually explaining the difference between distinct and values. And it's so well explained that I, I, I'm not going to uh, reproduce this. But what you have here is you have a table that has the value ABC. And you have a, another table that has the value A and B. So you, you see that here value C is missing. And what Marco is doing is doing a, this count rows distinct and a count rows values, which is this is with values, this is with distinct. So what happens? Count distinct is two, count values is three. What you see here is count values is counting the blanks from the unrelated rows. You know that you can create relationships even if this C is missing in here, you can still create a relationship. It just will give you a blank in things that, you know, comes from this table that are C. So count values will count blanks while distinct will not. So that is the difference between distinct and values. Which one to use? It depends on what you want to do. And it depends if you have this situation and you want to count the blanks or not. Okay. So it depends on your case. So as you can see, there are a lot of ways to do the same thing in DAX. What is a good way? What is a bad way? It depends on your data. It depends on your model. You can never tell in advance. Okay, so just experiment. Be curious and everything will go fine. Um, just as a, a small note, I am going to go on vacation. My summer vacation starts next week. I'm really looking forward to it. Don't worry, I have videos for you for the entire summer. So um, I'm, I'm recording them in advance and publishing them. I would probably be slower than usual answering comments and questions and all that stuff, but I will definitely answer them. I just wanted to say so you're aware of that. Uh, I am planning to do the 10,000 video during the summer. It's a creative process that I'm looking forward to. I will be testing my drone. I have a tons of projects and plans for the summer. I probably shouldn't, but I, I just can't help it. Um, yes, that, that is all for today. I'll see you again on Monday. There's a video already on Monday. So take care, have a great weekend, and see you on Monday. Bye.